Hello! Welcome back. Um, so this time I'm gonna actually try to talk in person even though it's ten times more awkward but I have now found that doing a voiceover I kind of sound like I hate my life but I don't. So let's get started. I'm going to try and recreate this look which you can find on my Instagram. I did it over the weekend and I really liked it so I thought I would try and recreate it and I'm actually going to use um, both Morphe palettes, I think it's the 350M, which is like all matte, and because at the time I was like, I don't want shimmers, I don't want the mixed one, but then I was like, shit, I really like shimmers, so then I went and bought the all shimmery one, but it's like really beautiful. Okay, so first I always start by priming my face. Before when I didn't use primer, I always wondered why my makeup rubbed off or why it like looked icky half the time, and it's because I didn't use a primer. And my sister so graciously bought me these knockoff artiste brushes. Cause you know, I like to be fancy, but like I'm not as fancy as like paying $80 per brush like this. I mean, my cap is like 45 pretty much. Okay, so there's kind of two ways we can do this. You can either use tape or you can use something that kind of has like a flat surface like this. But today, because it's kind of like a grungy look, I'm gonna make it a bit more like rough because it's supposed to be like, I don't care, mom, I'm not going through a phase. And so, there's gonna be no hard lines. It's just gonna be like very like fluffy and like out there. To start, as I've used in my other videos, um, this is kind of like my go-to. This is the MAC Paint Pot in Soft Ochre. And it's kind of really nice because you can, well, this one is like my skin tone pretty much. So any color that you put on top of it just goes on beautifully. And I kind of use this all over my lid. I mean, it doesn't look like my skin color, but it's my skin color when I put my foundation on. Uh, and I try, I mean, if I'm doing a more precise lid, then um, I won't put it all up in my brow, but because we're gonna blend this in, then it works just as so. I use my finger, kind of blend it in, because the brush kind of puts on a little bit too much, but because I have nails, I can't use my finger from the get-go. Okay, so I'm going to fast forward and do my other eye, because this is really boring to watch me do two bowls of my eyes. That didn't make sense. It's boring to watch me put makeup on both of my eyes in it. Okay, and so it's kind of just like really rough. I mean, I, I don't mush it in as lovely as all the other beauty girls, but hey. I'm kind of lazy. Been a long ass day so far. So, first we're just gonna pour after we put on this lovely ass primer. Let's do. Let's go in. And the thing that I have to gripe about with these Morphe palettes is they don't have names. So I can't even tell you what the name is. So, taking the 350M palette, which is all of the matte shades. We're just gonna go in with this night white color to kind of set in everything because it's gonna kind of help us move all the transition colors together a lot more smoothly. So just gonna go in with that bad boy. On to the next. From the same 350M palette, we're gonna go in with this red color down here in the corner. And I like it because it's like more red, it's not like red orange. So I'm gonna take my Sephora tapered brush. It doesn't have a number. I ain't that fancy. It's the Pro Tapered Crease Brush. Honestly, I just like this one because it like puts on the product the best. Like, hello. Yeah. I have to say, these pigmented colors are very beautiful. Right now, this looks absolutely petrifying, but I'm still gonna roll with it. 
because we want to make things a little bit shiny i'm going to take another nyx lid laundry not lip laundry lid laundry and just put it on my lid and the one thing i've learned with these bad boys oh i forgot to say this is in color evening spell is less is more pretty much and if you don't set it properly then it's just gonna get onto the lid or your upper crease so with that and taking the shiny version of the palette we're gonna go to the same red one, but now it's the shiny one. So we're gonna go in with that with one of my Morphe flat brushes. It doesn't have a number. It's great. Just my descriptions today are just absolutely flawless. As you can see, I went in and did my other eye, and you can also see that I got red eyeshadow all over my cheek, but I figure I'm just gonna fix that with concealer when it gets to that. Um, but before we do that, I'm gonna go in with the 350M palette again, the all matte one, and we're gonna go eeny, meeny, miny, mo, and we're gonna go in with this brown one for the outer corner, just to add a little bit more dimension because the red shimmer and the red since they're obviously like the same color tone and they do add a little bit of texture, it's not enough for what I want. So we're gonna go in with another one of the Morphe brushes. Today is just like a Morphe ad, basically. Not sponsored, I wish. Um, but we're gonna go into the corner. Oh, that wasn't enough. And spread some love just a little bit. Okay, and just to make sure it's all morphed together, I'm going to take the Makeup Forever 242 brush and go in with the same brown and just kind of swirl it in a little bit, back and forth, make it look a little messy. And that's basically it for the eye look for now. I'm going to go in and do the underneath once I put my entire face on, but... I'm going to go do that off camera because that's another video for another day. Be right back! Okay, so now that I've gone in and done my face makeup and my lovely eyebrows, now I'm going to show you how to do the underneath. And when I ordered my sparkly palette from Morphe, I also ordered the Morphe M432, which is this very nice flat brush. Because I didn't have anything that was like really good under the eye, but at the same time, for this look it would wouldn't be a bad idea to use kind of like a fluffy brush like this one either because like I said it's supposed to be rough it's not going to be like a perfect kind of like cut crease type of line but either way we'll start with this and we can always like blend it out so I'm going to go back in with I'm going to go back in with the red one and it's already pigmented so I'm just going to kind of like dip into it like a couple times I'm doing it a little bit more thicker on the outside and I don't want it as dense on the inside. I'm just kind of lightly tapping in like the excess. Let's go back in with our Sephora taper brush and I'm not going to dip it back in because I know it's just going to add too much product but there should be some remnants on there. A lot more than this side, for example. Gives it a nice, fluffy look. Bad. Now, all that's missing is some lashes. So, I'm gonna pop those bad boys on and I'll be right back. Okay, my lashes are on now. So, now I'm just gonna go in with the L'Oreal Telescopic Mascara. I'm just gonna do the bottom ones. I'm gonna make this rough, not precise. So, instead of going up and down, 
We're gonna go side to side. Even if you get a little mascara under your eyes, it's even better for the look. I wouldn't do it on purpose because then you always end up adding more than you need. It's just if it's by accident, so don't go for it. But if it happens, it happens. Now I'm gonna go in with my Too Faced bronzer and mine is in the medium deep color. I'm gonna go in with my NARS brush as well. I'm gonna get our contour on. And I kind of just use this brush to put in the rough lines. Everywhere that I need it. And then I just kind of go on with this little like average Joe brush. But I like it because it softens it out so it's not like a super rough line. See, that's after or that's before. And then I do this all around my temples because I've been told by my father and some others many of times that I have a big forehead. I mean, I always thought it was kind of average, but to tackle said comments, I will bronze up the forehead to make it look like I have a smaller forehead. Next up, nose contouring. And God, I don't even know where this brush is from. I think my mom gave it to me. It's my first crease blending brush when I started getting into eyeshadow. I still have it to this day. But I kind of like the width of it um, for nose contouring because I don't like it. Because sometimes if I use a smaller brush, it's too much of a straight line. But this one kind of just like, I don't know, for some reason it works on the bridge of my nose. And I think like cream contouring your nose, although like I have done it a couple times. It just, like I said, makes it too straight, too precise, too fake. This... Since it's a nice fluffy brush, it kind of gives you the chance to blend it out so it's not too fake. And now for the fun part. Highlighter! This is the Becca Highlighter, the Shimmering Skin Perfector in Opal. And although many of people use these, I think these are crap. I don't like this. It doesn't put on the amount of highlighter that I like because I like to shimmer. I like bling. I take this dense brush and I just tap it in and put it where I see fit. It does, it pretty much gives you the same effect, but I feel like the other one doesn't get it in the places that I want for some reason. I don't know, maybe it's just on my head. Tap it up on the forehead a little bit. For the tip of my nose, because I wear glasses most of the time, I like to put this on the tip because my glasses rub it off so easily. Pat that on there. And then also for my under my eyebrow. Bam! Shimmer me up. Okay, now that we are all shimmered up, I mean there's really nothing else left except for lips. And to keep the grunge phase going with that of the 90s, I'm gonna use kind of a a dead lip as I would like to put it. So something that's like very flesh tone with your skin. Cause I mean, they went one of two ways. They either did something that was like super red and super purple or because the eyes are like so bah, you want to use something a little bit more demure on your lips, but it also still goes with the look. So to get this, I'm using the MAC pencil in strip down. And then this is their new liquid lipstick. And this is in color Dash O Spice. And the official name is Retro Matte Liquid Lip Color. So I have decent sized lips, but I still kind of overdraw them because I mean, we still have Kylie Jenner to compete with, so why the fuck not? this trick works for some reason but like I feel like my lips don't have a lot of like dimension to them so when you kind of do this little just line it gives you like that Angelina Jolie kind of lip for some reason
Now for the fun part. I love putting that lipstick on. So I'm just gonna put it out there. These two colors don't exactly match, but they don't have a perfect one that matches with this. But it's close enough. It's in the yellow tone group. Is about it. I'm not gonna lie, this looks a lot better when I had my curly hair. Cute Instagram picture one more time. But it looks just as cute with your hair up. I mean, it's the look. But anyways, thanks again for watching guys. I actually liked doing this a lot better than doing a voiceover because I can give my real opinion and be a lot more real with you. So I'm gonna keep doing it this way going forward. But please, if you don't mind, please put Comment down below if you like this look or not. Please tag me on Instagram. Um, I have my personal Instagram right here. And we also have the morning routine Instagram that Lucy and I both share. So please uh, take a picture of your look, send them to us because we would love to see them. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel and like this video as well. Thanks so much and I'll see you next time.